Sinaloa really has such a bounty of seafood and they love eating seafood in so many different ways all day. But I think that their key and king ingredient really is shrimp. And that love for shrimp inspired me in making for you a shrimp burger. I have two pounds of shrimp that I already peeled, the veined, took the shells off. You really want to try to get shrimp that still has the shells and the tails on because shrimp survives the freezing and thawing process much better with tails and shells. You want shrimp that are firm, that look shiny, that look almost translucent. You don't want any mushy raw shrimp. I have my food processor. I'm going to add a couple of shrimp that I'm going to cut and I'm going to mix with my binding mixture for the shrimp patties, along with one whole egg. The reason I'm adding the shrimp is because I want to get a burger texture. We want shrimp on shrimp on shrimp. That's what we want. I have three tablespoons of breadcrumbs and these are unflavored, just plain. A tablespoon of mayo. I can do this. I'm adding a tablespoon of already chopped habaneros that you can get at the store along with their liquid because it's tasty. And I'm adding three quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm adding a half a cup of chopped carrot. I don't want to eat the chunks of carrot. I want the carrot to flavor my binding mixture. About one tablespoon of cilantro, which I'm just going to break in here. A tablespoon of freshly squeezed lime juice. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. Mexican chiles, no matter how hot they are, even habaneros, Love the company of black pepper. So I'm going to puree these until completely smooth. You really want to make sure that the carrot is really pureed because when you make the patties, you don't want to bite into the hard carrot. You want to bite into the plump, crunchy shrimp. Okay. Now I have the rest of my shrimp. I'm going to add them in there because I want them to break. You don't want to make shrimp burgers that have the whole shrimp because that's really hard to bind. And now I'm going to pulse for just a couple of times for the shrimp to be coarsely chopped. A little more. And there we go. So this is the texture that we want. You can still see little pieces of shrimp. I have some water just to help me shape the shrimp patties. I'm gonna wet my hands. I want the patties to be three quarters of an inch thick because I wanna bite into it and feel the chunks of shrimp. I love burgers, but I always go for beef burgers. But Danny, my husband, will go for any burger on the menu that's not beef. Juju loves anything that has anything. Now I'm gonna put the shrimp patties in the refrigerator for at least a half an hour so they chill and are ready to be nicely grilled. The last thing I wanna make before Juju can come join me is a tartar sauce. I love the word tartar. In Spanish, you would say tartar. I'm gonna make my tartar with <laughs> a cup of mayo. And then we're gonna mix some yummy things in here. About a tablespoon of the same habaneros that I used in my shrimp burger. This is going to marry the burger with the sauce. Two tablespoons of cilantro and two tablespoons of mint, both of which come from my garden, which makes me very happy. I love the combination of mint and cilantro. Both very fresh, very fragrant, but with a very different taste. I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon salt, three scallions. And I'm gonna thinly slice the white parts and the light green parts. 
And all I am missing is some fresh squeezed lime juice, about a tablespoon, because we don't want the tartar sauce to be too runny. Mmm, that's spicy. I'm gonna sprinkle my shrimp burgers with salt. Six slices of bacon. We cook the shrimp burgers, they're at medium heat for about four minutes per side. Mm. How hungry are you? Really hungry. Tienes mucha hambre? Yes. Una. What does it have? Tiene mayonesa. Okay. Mm. Okay. Pull it. <laughs> Should I put fries on it? It's your shrimp burger. You do whatever you want to it. Okay, yours Cheers. looks better than mine. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Mmm. All the different layers. The lettuce leaf that is like so delicate, but it has like a nice refreshing green taste. The shrimp burger has such a delicious texture and consistency, and then I'm biting into the pieces of shrimp. It's really good. Do you think this is a meal worth repeating? Definitely. I'm a little starting you have to catch up. Oh my god! Mm. Mm.